A tool to help you think systematically about data management is a data management plan, or DMP. A DMP is a document with questions that helps you describe the data of your project and how you will work with this data. You typically write a data management plan before you start working with the data and update it during the course of your project. To get started, you can use an existing template, for example, one provided by your university. If you are applying for funding, check whether the funder offers a template and if they require you to use their template. DMP templates can be structured in various ways, but in general, they include questions about collecting, processing, sharing, and preserving data and code. Data management plans generally start with generic questions about the data sets to be collected. For example, in which file formats will the data sets be stored? What programming languages or software will you use to analyze the data? What is the expected volume of data? Will you reuse existing research data in your project? Next, a data management plan guides you to reflect on the data organization and storage by asking you, what is your strategy for naming files and folders so that you can easily find them? What metadata and documentation will accompany the data and code? What is your strategy for the storage of research data, including backups, to help prevent data loss? How will data security and protection be ensured if working with confidential data? Many DMPs will also prompt you to describe what you will need to arrange prior to the start of your project. For example, are there any ethical approvals you will need to obtain or any legal obligations to fulfill before you can start your research project? This question is particularly relevant for researchers working with personal data, such as data collected from patients or data collected in interviews. When you have completed your project, you should preserve the data for the long term. This can be done by archiving it in a repository. So, a data management plan will always contain questions about what data will be preserved and what data will be publicly shared on a data repository. To answer this question, you should consider which data you deem of high value or will ensure the reproducibility of your results. For example, all the data and code underlying your publications, data that are difficult or costly to collect, data that are impossible to reproduce. When drafting the DMP for your project, consider and add relevant information on any costs related to data management or storage that need to be considered and the roles and responsibilities regarding data management. Remember that a data management plan is a dynamic document for use throughout the course of your project. You might not have all the answers at the beginning of the project, so a DMP should be updated regularly.